Ana. <laughs> um, so, you know, we understand that culture is the immune system of the people. Um, what every, I think uh, everything that, that's been said or mentioned is about like it is about culture. It's about cultivating ourselves to be doing the things, uh, 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 exercising the kind of practices that are consistent and ongoing. Um, and and Sianda, here his his when you start talking about putting a, a, a town together, a city together, just a community together, um, it's it's scary. We we don't trust ourselves. Oh, not, let me not say we don't trust. We are told, and we tell ourselves we don't trust ourselves. So responsibility and trust are, are like key key components of like forward movement. Um, when 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 we think about what it what it takes to uh, put people in line are, are as, as uh, Thomas Sankara and, and, and Burkina Faso to, to get to create a land of upright people. We don't want to take on those tasks, those struggles because I don't think that she could be a good woman. I don't think he could be a good man. I'm, I'm the greatest man, you know what I'm saying, and on this, <laughs> right? So, it was said a couple times, like, patience and diligence. Like, we have, to, we have to be diligent about the work that we have committed to do. Understanding that some of the people who reap the benefits of what we do are not really going to be worthy. Like, they're they going to they be some shiftless Africans. Some undeserving Africans. But we don't stop or not do the work because they exist. We do the work because we're reproducing ourselves. We do the work because we know that there are many who are beyond deserving and beyond worthy. And so when you find yourself in a place to establish a, uh, a community, a city of your own, then you have the capacity of uh, dictating and determining and controlling the everyday, you know, goings on of your community. So, for instance, I come out of my door and I see somebody who live in my city. First thing I do is speak and show love, gratitude for the fact that you are living and breathing like me. You can't, you can't, and you can't force, you can't force attitude. And right now in America, we we have the we um, we try to legislate and force attitude attitudes. I love you because you're an African man. I love you because you're African. I love you. Know what I'm saying like it's just the nature of it. And so when you when you're dealing with um, what. And like the, the, the different things that you do every day, just because, you know what I'm saying, everybody in the community um, understands the agenda and the mission of that community, that helps develop the cultural dynamic or the, the, the cultural standards that keeps us living and taking care of one another. If our culture was one that um, wasn't trying to make $10,000 in a month while playing uh, Grand Theft Auto, then we wouldn't have, you know what I'm saying, the, the type of things that happen. Like, anyway, I could talk a long time, but yes, the, the um, culturally, it's doing the work, diligently doing the work with the people who you love and being patient being patient with everyone's work, whether they are, whether they are,
um, you know, doing it at the most high and excellent space? Are they struggling? Right? The patience of mama, again, when a child ain't doing right, she's patient with her child. She's not just tolerant. Right? Tolerance means, I'd be glad when his name, when his mom, you know what I'm saying? But patience is, nah, I'm going a, I'm to a work with this one. He a headbanger, but I'm going to work with him. So, at any rate, yeah, cult, uh, um, it's really putting yourself in a position to, to grow what you know, you know, we want and need. So. Anybody else got a call? Yeah, I'd love to um, 